Today we're talking about how to age well by turning back our biological clock. Aging is a natural process that we all experience. And I love the fact that we are living longer. It's estimated that by 2045, one third of all children born could live until they're 100. These days, the age-related functional decline is the number one threat to Western society. Studies have shown that people are living most of their life in poor health. Isn't it time we started making a change? What if you could turn back the clock? It's possible. Hey everyone, it's Margaret from margaretchism.com and Stress-Free Living. Thanks for subscribing. Make sure you don't miss future videos by tapping on the bell icon. New research findings on the effects of aging are being released every day. Scientists continue to discover ways to intervene in this process of getting old. Reverse aging isn't just a business trend anymore. One day, we'll all age without any worries or fears about feeling old. We should be grateful for modern health advances such as vaccines and antibiotics. These medicines enable humans to enjoy all the benefits of a long life. But there is a new problem. The mortality rate for chronic degenerative diseases is rising, while illnesses due to infections and fevers are falling. Wear and tear on ourselves causes aging to start as soon as we're born. You just don't start feeling the effects until you reach your late 40s or 50s. It's tough being 80 years old. It's even tougher being 80 with multiple medical conditions and organs that no longer function properly. Visualize your life 10 years from now. Don't allow complex health issues such as dementia and heart disease to ruin your final 10 years. Refuse to let aging get the best of you. Decide to live a long, healthy life. You don't find heart disease in a 20 or 30 year old. Their tissues are young and when damaged, heal as quickly as any other injured body part. If we could reverse a person's biological age, most of these diseases would disappear. Pain and suffering as a result of aging must not be tolerated. Picture a future where people live a healthier, longer life with the ability to accomplish what they desire. Things that don't involve sitting at home watching TV because of heart disease or dementia. Imagine being able to work until you're 80 instead of having to retire because your health starts failing. And it's not just about living longer. It's about having a better quality of life throughout those extra years. There will be many more people living longer in the future. We can either let them age sitting around waiting for death to come knocking, or they become healthy and active members of society who never stop exploring what life has to offer. The elderly population is a major economic concern for countries who are feeling the pressure to not only care for their seniors, but to provide opportunities so that golden agers live productive lives and contribute to the economy. With a shrinking group of workers and more retirees who can't afford to live on social security alone. Do we want to pay the cost of aging now or later? The sooner the aged become active members of society again, the better off countries will be both financially and socially. It's been shown it's possible to turn back our biological clock. Reversing the progression of physical degeneration and rejuvenating old cells prevents many diseases from taking hold. How much longer and healthier would our lives be if we focused on preventing aging rather than curing specific ailments? How we age has profound implications for longevity and quality of life. Thanks for watching and sharing. If you want a way to reverse your biological clock, just check out the link below.